Hello everyone. In this video, we will be taking a look at analysis of three phase half wave control rectifier with R load. So let's get started. So this is the waveform that we had seen in our previous video where we understood the operation and the waveform of this particular half wave control rectifier with R load for three phase circuit, isn't it? Now we are going to mainly look at the analysis part where we will be deriving the expression for average output voltage and RMS output voltage. So how do we do that? So we are going to consider two modes that is continuous conduction mode that is zero less than alpha less than 30 degrees. So we had detailedly seen this operation in continuous conduction mode in the waveform that corresponded to two and three in the waveforms, isn't it? So how do we derive the average output voltage expression? So it's pretty simple. So V out DC is the notation for average output voltage is given by one by total time period. The total time period here is 120 degree that can be written as two pi by three. So why is it 120 degree? That is, this is the total time period that is from this point to this point, 30 to 150. So the overall total time period 150 minus 30 is 120 degrees. So that is the total time period where we are going to consider the average output voltage over here for one one particular cycle here that we're getting. And integration of the lower limit is alpha plus 30 degrees. So this is the point where it started conducting that is alpha plus 30 degrees. It can be any point. So alpha plus 30 degree and this is alpha plus 150 degree. We were getting the waveform output voltage till 150 degrees, isn't it? Plus alpha, so some value. So that's why we're considering lower and upper limits in this way. Vm sin omega t into d omega t. V out dc is equal to 3 vm, we can take it outside. 3 vm by 2 pi integration of sine is minus cos omega t alpha plus 30 degree alpha plus 150 degree substituting and simplifying this you will be getting 3 root 3 vm by 2 pi into cos alpha. Very, very important expression for solving numericals. Now let's derive the expression for RMS output voltage. Again for RMS output voltage, just like the way we considered the upper and lower limits, we'll be doing the same thing over here. So that's represented as V out RMS is equal to square root of fundamentally by the definition one by total time period that is 2 pi by 3 integration of alpha plus 30 degree to alpha plus 150 degree. So the waveforms are required for us to write the upper and lower limits and the total time period. So that's why it's very, very important. So if you know that you don't even have to remember what's the upper and lower limit based on the waveform, you can directly write it. Vm square sine square omega t into d omega t. V out RMS is equal to, we can take Vm outside root, coming out of the root, Vm square will become Vm and you can write square root of 3 by 2 pi alpha plus 30 degree alpha plus 150 degree sin square omega t can be written as 1 minus cos 2 omega t whole divided by 2 into d omega t. Isn't it? Now we can write Vm into square root of taking 2 outside 3 by 4 pi and considering individual terms with respect to integration. So integration of omega t, d omega t is nothing but omega t alpha plus 30 degrees to alpha plus 150 degrees minus again 3 by 4 pi basically we are multiplying this term internally to each of these particular terms so integration of sine to omega t is nothing but sorry integration of cos to omega t is nothing but sine to omega t by that is by chain rule. So first you'll be integrating cos to omega t and then you will be integrating 2 omega t that is 
from the principle of chain rule. So alpha plus 30 degree to alpha plus 150 degree. Now we can write Vm square root of 3 by 4 pi alpha plus substituting upper limit minus lower limit minus 3 by 4 pi again substituting upper and lower limit so 2 and 4 can be multiplied and that will be equal to 8 isn't it so I'll be rewriting this as 8 pi and sine of 2 omega t can be written as upper limit that is alpha plus 150 degree minus sine of lower limit that is so you'll be having two times outside so sine of two times alpha plus 30 degree now one important thing that has to be done here is 3 by 4 pi alpha and alpha will get cancelled out so you'll be having 150 minus 30 is 120 degree converting that into radian how do we do that we'll be doing it by multiplying it by pi by 180 so this is two times this is three times and pi and pi cancels out each other two ones are again two twos are three and three cancels out each other so you'll be left with the term one by two minus simplifying this expression you can take three by eight pi as it is this is sine of a plus b formula isn't it simplifying sine a cos b plus cos a sin b substituting and simplifying you'll be getting two times minus cos 2 alpha into root 3 by 2. So you need to simplify that. I'm not going into that detail, but this is how you have to simplify it. So finally, you will be left out with V out RMS is equal to Vm square root of 1 by 2 plus 3 root 3 by 8 pi cos 2 alpha again very important term for solving problems related to this so we have derived it for continuous conduction mode now we have to do the same thing for discontinuous conduction mode discontinuous conduction mode is for 30 degree to 150 degree that is the fourth waveform that we had seen over here so mainly if you see it's discontinuous because it is going to zero. The output voltage is going to zero. That is for alpha greater than or equal to 30 degrees, isn't it? That's between 30 to 150 in this case. Again, we will be deriving the average output voltage. So average output voltage, just like the way we did it for the continuous conduction mode. So we can write it as V out average is equal to one by total time period. Again, it is two pi by three into integration of alpha plus 30 degree that's the point where you will be able to start you can start at any instant after 30 degrees so alpha plus 30 degree and the upper limit if you carefully observe here the upper limit is 180 degree why is it 180 degree because after this point the output voltage is going to zero so this is the maximum point it can reach that's why you'll write it as 180 degree so alpha plus 30 degree to 180 degree vm times sine omega t into d omega t again we have to derive it just like the way we have done previously so 3 times vm by 2 pi so integration of sine is minus cos so substituting and solving we'll be getting 1 plus cos of alpha plus 30 degree this is the average output voltage for discontinuous conduction mode now we will derive the same thing for RMS output voltage. So the RMS output voltage is again denoted as V out RMS is equal to square root of 1 by 2 pi by 3 integration of again the limits are same as we had seen for average output voltage Vm square sin square omega t into d omega t so this is equal to we'll take vm outside the root 
3 by 2 pi again we will be having vm sin square omega t can be written as 1 minus cos 2 omega t by 2 provided we have the integration term here 180 degrees to d omega t now simplifying this further just like the way we did it previously so 3 multiplying 2 outside so you'll be having 3 by 4 pi integration of omega d omega t alone you'll be getting it as omega t that is alpha plus 30 degree to 180 degree minus integration of cos to omega t is nothing but sin to omega t by 2 again alpha plus 30 degrees to 180 degrees so mainly we have taken two outside that's why you are only considering one and cos to omega t while integrating here now vm square root of 3 by 4 pi upper limit that is 180 degree minus alpha minus 30 degree lower limit minus sine of again considering this this is actually whole bracket so remember this this is whole bracket so taking this inside so you'll be getting 3 by 8 pi sine 180 is 0 0 minus sine of alpha plus 30 degree now again we can write this as equal to it is v out rms further simplifying this square root of 3 by 4 pi this is nothing but 150 degrees so 150 degrees minus alpha 150 degree can be written as 5 pi by 3 minus alpha isn't it plus plus because minus of minus will become equal to plus that is 3 by 8 pi into integration of sine of 2 times alpha plus this is 2 times alpha plus 30 degrees so you will be writing it as sine 2 alpha plus sine of 30 degrees can be written as pi by 6 and pi by 6 into 2 you will be getting pi by 3 so this is nothing but pi by 3 so you can consider this as one term now further simplifying this particular expression v out rms you will be getting vm into root 3 by 2 root 2 square root of 5 pi minus 3 times alpha by 3 pi so mainly we are taking the common terms outside based on that we are getting this particular expression sine of 2 alpha plus pi by 3 whole divided by pi so this is the rms value output expression for discontinuous convection mode so this is how we have to carry out the analysis and Please make a note of these expressions because they are extremely important for solving problems related to these type of questions like three phase half wave control rectifier with R load problems. You need to understand the expressions or remember the expressions in order to solve the numericals. I hope this gave, video gave you a clear understanding. In case you have any questions, feel free to reach out by typing in your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Thank you.